Nice Atacama Desert Breakfast. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 292 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. Last night we camped here in the Atacama Desert and we had the best sky night ever. The whole sky was lightening up with stars. It was so beautiful, but it was as well a little bit cold actually. We camped without the cover. So <laughs> the wind just came through and in the middle of the night we woke up, we were like, okay, this is a little bit freezing here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the sun is rising really fast this morning and it is heating up. So let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here camping out in the desert, just outside of the town of Valenar. And today we are gonna be heading up on the route of five and onto the last part of our Chile map. Starting here, we'll be heading up to Copiapo, across to Caldera, where the route of five becomes a little bit smaller, which is nice. And then we'll be following the coast up through here, around here, and trying to make our way as far as we can go towards Antofagasta. Yes, today we'll be heading further north into the Atacama region. It's gonna be an awesome ride and I'm super excited to get deeper into the desert. Yes, I absolutely can't wait. And we still have to pack up everything. It's already 8.30, so better hit the road, let's go. So last night we came off of this dirt track up ahead into this like dry sandy riverbed which was lovely to sleep on but not so difficult for Bumblebee. Look at this back tyre. <laughs> A little bit buried but I have faith in our new tyres and the traction that can get us out. So let's find out. I think we'll need a push. Yes, yes. How deep did that go? I think I got a thorny bush in my hand. Ah, hold on. Ah, hold on. Ah, okay. It's not as sandy on this bit. Yep, okay, let's go, let's go around here. Okay, there's a bit more sand here. Three, two, one, go! Yes. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> push, 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 push! Okay, last bit. Yes. <laughs> that was a workout, eh? Woo. Literally nobody passed on this road for the entire afternoon, evening we were here and last night. Yeah, I don't think that this road is being used at all. No. Cool, all right. Cool. Okay. Time to get back to the Route of Five highway. Yeah. Awesome. But I do love these little tracks though. Oh, these desert tracks, they're just beautiful. Oh, amazing. Yeah, it was a really peaceful, peaceful camp. Uh, it was just amazing. It's amazing how we can be like only about half a mile from the route of five, but it felt like we were so alone. Yeah. Couldn't even hear it, eh? No. Yeah, but here it is up ahead. Yeah. Yeah, and the road is actually not too bad. A little bit sandy here and there, but quite smooth, actually. There's nothing our new tires can't handle. <laughs> yes. There we go. Back on tarmac. 
this one like supposed to be a wildfire? I don't know, yeah, they made like a cool rest area sort of monument. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Looks quite cool. It's time to do some miles, eh? Hey? Yes. 438 miles to Antofagasta. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Let's go! go. Oh, beautiful. It's so beautiful riding in the desert in the morning when the sun is not high enough and it's not too hot yet. Yeah, oh. it's really the best. It's the best. <laughs> Well, we've just come up to the top of this ridge and look how misty it is everywhere. Wow. It looks so dramatic. <laughs> it's really cool. And I guess this is basically the rain of the Atacama because they don't really get rain, it being the world's driest desert and all, but they do get a lot of mist coming in from the ocean. So this town is called Valenar. So the petrol station should just come up in a minute. Okay. The Copac here. Down here. Go to the right here, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, maybe you have to do like a loop and then another loop, actually. What do I do now? I think you're going to the... I think you go here to the, the right as well, no? To the right as well. Yeah. And then you pass over and then you do another loop. <laughs> Are you three loops? Yes. Oh Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Here? Yes. Okay. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. I'm a bit confused as to where we are now, but me, I me think too. the Copac will be in front of us. Yes. I even feel a little bit sick from all the loops. <laughs> so Go. now I don't take the loop. And then there's the petrol station. <laughs> First I have to go another loop and then oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> yeah, so it's first another loop. Okay. A loopy day. Yes. Yes. Copec. Made it. Here in Chile they have three options for gasoline. They have 93, 95 and 97. And we always go for the middle. Yeah, every country is different about their octanes. No 98. In some countries we've seen 89 and maybe even 92. This one is 1,346 per litre, so it's like one pound 34. This is basically a thousand to one. Really expensive. I just hope that in Bolivia it's a little bit cheaper, hey? <laughs> it's trying to get to 14. 1401. <laughs> Gracias. I think he said you have beautiful eyes. Oh. <laughs> Your Spanish is getting so better. Ciao, ciao! <laughs> ciao! Ciao, ciao! <laughs> oh I my. think we have to do a triple loop again to get back. No way! Yes. You're joking. No, we do. Yeah, we do. Okay. My map, my map is telling me, it's like, take every loop <laughs> and then you'll be on track. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay, here we go. Does that undo the dizziness of the other one? So the Atacama Desert is actually the largest fog desert in the world. And it's crazy because it looks really cloudy, like it's just about to rain, but it is just fog and it actually doesn't rain. It doesn't rain at all. Like it's actually as well the driest desert in yeah. the world. <laughs> so the plants here, they pretty much get their moisture by just sort of catching that fog, which is blowing in from the coast. And that sort of condenses on their on their leaves, on their needles. And that's pretty much the only way that they get their uh, moisture. The only way for them to survive. Yeah, I just find it crazy that it's like so gray and yet so dry. Yeah. So I'm actually getting quite wet from this fog. Like, I actually have wet all over my helmet and gloves. Getting wet in the driest place on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the locals call this marine fog Kamanchaka. Kamanchaka, Kaman, Kamanchaka. But I can tell you that it's a really different experience in the desert than it was when we arrived yesterday because yesterday it was like 
32 degrees and sunny and right now it's 15 degrees and freezing cold and pretty freezing cold yeah we're coming up into the fog now hey look at this crazy stuff oh, oh my god <laughs> Yummy, 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 yummy. It's a cold, cold day. So we've cooked us some hot noodles. They're just uh, soaking. Because actually here uh, and in Argentina as well, you can pretty much get hot water anywhere. You just go in and ask for agua caliente and uh, they'll just give you it from the tap. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, guys. And of course, as a side to the noodles, we've got some goat's cheese. <laughs> yeah, I'm really hungry now, so bon appetit! Siempre está nublado aquí. No. No? No, no, okay. We must have hit it on a cloudy day, hey? Yeah. Rain here? Rain? No? Lluvia. Shu yeah, lluvia. No, nunca. No. no. <laughs> Gracias, ciao. So we had a good rest and now we're heading back over to the coast to a town called Caldera and there we're going to see some fossils. Some very very old 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 fossilized animals. Yeah there's a little park there called Park Paleontological Los Dados and it's a pretty important site for fossils here in Chile and I think it's free entry as well. That would be absolutely awesome because the petrol here in Chile is very expensive and I think we are already over budget for today. <laughs> Everything else for the day has to be free anyway. <laughs> yeah, in this paleontological site they have fossils of sharks and penguins and crocodiles and all kinds of really cool stuff. So it's going to be really interesting to go and check that out. Whoa, look at this. We're riding through a giant shark mouth. <laughs> oh, cool. Cool, look at this. Beautiful. Riding into the desert. Cool. Wow, what a place, eh? Yeah. Incredible. The colors, they look so nice. It's really bright as well, so all, all of a sudden. Yeah, I need my sunglasses back on. <laughs> yeah, my eyes are almost hurting. Cool. There go. Yeah. Bienvenidos al Park Paleontologico Los Nidos. So we're just waiting for an English-speaking guide to arrive. I think it's another 30, 40 minutes or so. But it's good that they have an English-speaking guide anyway. Yes, it begins. <laughs> oh, what was your name again, sorry? Gonzalo. Gonzalo. Yeah, yeah. I'm a tour guide. Tour guide? From here, from Atacama. Okay. I make tours from the Cordillera to the coast. Okay. Include this the dunes and everything. Oh cool. Um, today I'm working with the CN, this organization, yes. uh -huh. to make a more information about this park. Cool. Because today we are in a unique park from Chile. There is not a place like this. We have a lot of fossils in the place. Wow. It's inside. When you saw the fossil, it's very common in a museum. And they're still here in the grounds? Yeah, yes, it's still here. So it's like a, a, a big open natural museum. Exactly. And oh. It's an interactive museum. Interactive museum, nice. An animal cemetery. <laughs> in this long life we have in the earth, now we are going to ubicate in this part, in the Mioceno. Eight million of years ago. Fossil couch. Exactly. It's a fossil couch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know this one. It's like an oyster. Yeah. Oyster. It's a big one. Wow. 
If you yeah. eat something like that, it's like a, a lunch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Do we just put it in the microwave to <laughs> get it good? No, I, I don't care. <laughs> if you see something like this on hueso, a bone, yeah? Uh -huh, yes. But it, this is not a bone. In this part, we don't have uh, organic, nothing organic. We don't have the meat. But we have the calcium of the bone. That's the biggest difference between a fossil and a bone. Okay. So this one is basically an eight million year old crocodile, but it is not related to a crocodile. It's a different family called the gavial. And the main difference is that a crocodile is walking with his legs to the side like this, but the gavial walks with its legs underneath him and so they theorize that that's why he wasn't as successful and then that's why that this species actually died out he couldn't feed himself properly he didn't have a lavi with him that's why <laughs> have a look here they have shark teeth in all of these rocks here absolutely loads and loads of shark teeth i think you just use your shark teeth. these are all fossilized shark teeth from a great white shark and they actually have a great white shark here but this animal isn't extinct so the great white shark was living here then and still lives today the entire pathway like these borders is also fossils. Everything is fossils here. That's what makes this place so special. Just the sheer number of fossils that are here. Absolutely incredible. Whoa, look at that. Guys, wow. we have the jaw of the megalodon. No way. The biggest shark exists. This is not even an adult. This no. is a, a juvenile. Exactly. No. <laughs> Oh my god, it's like the size no, of a human, you know? Island. Just the perfect... <laughs> 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 what is the biggest animal we have today? The blue whale. The blue whale, exactly. This, the megalodon eat blue whale. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this mark was made by a uh, teeth of a megalodon. Oh. That mark. So we would just be little snacks to them then. Exactly. We're just a little snack. <laughs> Here they found a 75% complete skeleton fossilized of this guy, which is an ancestor of the condor. It's called Pelagornis chileno, and it's known as the fake tooth bird because in its jaw, it looks like it has loads of teeth, but they're actually part of its beak. It's just the shape of the beak. So it's fake teeth. And also you can see there's a tiny egg here. It's really interesting because even though it's a giant bird, just like the dinosaurs, it has a very small egg. So the ostrich should take note. The name of the bird is Cali los dedos, the fingers, if we translate to the English. You see the landscape, we have a right hand on the ground, and it's oh, I see. like a like this one, like exactly. And the thumb is over there, exactly. <laughs> interesting to see how some of these species here have gone extinct and some of them still continue to live today considering it's like eight million years ago you can really see which species were successful and which species weren't successful enough this is a part of the jaw uh -huh. of the a wheel a blue wheel or maybe a fin wheel gigante, <laughs> gigante. <laughs> all right epic Cool. Just gonna stand up here. Yes. Wow, what an absolutely special place that was. I loved it. I absolutely loved it.
They literally had fossils everywhere around. Yeah, they literally had fossils everywhere. The government is not allowing any more of the excavations. Yeah, so the whole place is protected. It is basically just now for people to come and see and learn about. Yeah, it's incredible. Really, really incredible. Yeah, and the whole tour and the whole visit was completely for free. Bye bye, Los Dedos! Keep inspiring people with your awesome fossils. The tour guide told us that this bay, Bahia Inglés, is called English Bay because uh, English people came here in the 1800s and then were like, right, we're going to call this bay English Bay. <laughs> So now we are going to try and make it another 100 miles before we finish for the day and that'll put us 200 miles from our goal of Antofagasta which we're hoping to arrive there tomorrow So for me just lay back and relax <laughs> <laughs> Okay first of all guys just look at this crazy rocky area that we're in but secondly what's even more crazy is that there's these two giant things being transported in front of us yeah i mean it's like a giant construction side thing like it looks like a shovel no or something i think they call them buckets so i think it's two giant mining buckets and they're using up like both lanes of the highway and wow. um, of course there's a huge queue behind them and we've sort of skipped to the front but now we're sort of like stuck behind them yeah i mean wow there you can see they're just on the whole road wow yeah they are transporting some massive pieces of machinery across this highway i hope they will turn in the minute <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all traffic jams aside, this area is absolutely stunning. Look at this rocky coast. I don't know if we have ever seen so many rocks on one place. <laughs> this is not the place to uh, wild camp. <laughs> no. There's nowhere flat to pitch a tent. <laughs> wow, how beautiful, hey? Yeah, this is an absolutely crazy area. Wow, look at that. I mean, wow, unreal. Here they are, they finally stopped at the side of the road. Look, they are massive! They are massive. Whoa! There we go. We're clear. Clear for takeoff. Yes! Yeah, let's make some distance north. Woo! Whoa, it's crazy. These dark patches, they look like shadows on the mountain. But that's actually just different types of rock. It's like a zebra mountain. Welcome to the Atacama Desert! I mean, yeah, that place looks dry. Yeah, I cannot see any plants anymore. It's just sand and rocks for as far as the eye can see. And we can see for a long, long way. Yeah, and it feels really nice and open here. We don't have any fences on the side of the road, which is nice. It's just a really epic landscape. Yeah, they've given up on the fences. They're like, well, where are you going to go? <laughs> Nowhere to go. <laughs> Look at that, eh?
Okay, after 269 miles on the road today, we're finally coming to our Iovalander wild camping spot for the night. Woohoo! Another desert camp. I mean, it's hard not to have a desert camp out here. <laughs> so I think we've got to take this exit, hey? Yeah. And look, the desert's turned like a dark brown color around us. It's kind of, looks really volcanic. Yeah, it looks definitely different yeah to anything i've ever seen in my life i guess it's here okay let's see how the condition is and see if it's sandy or not oh it's okay seems pretty well formed indeed cool look at this <laughs> that's amazing amazing i don't know where this track is supposed to lead but thank you for making it whoever made it <laughs> <laughs> it's true i mean i can't see anything on the map no, no, it's like going nowhere, but yeah. it's a useful little track to come off of the main road and get somewhere hidden, isn't it? Yeah, maybe actually if you go further to the left here. Yep. So his spot is coming up in just a minute. Okay. Still a little bit further. Yeah, his spot is here. Yeah. Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy and alive. Woo! Another day in paradise. Yeah, our tent has been set up in the middle of this. Look at this! <laughs> That's crazy! I mean, you could literally walk anywhere you like around here. It's just empty around. Wow. Empty and full of little hills and stones and... <laughs> <laughs> and we are camping right in the middle. So day number two in the Atacama Desert and camp number two, I approve. Yes, and that's it from us today. At the end, we did 265 miles and we hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. Lavi's camp kitchen and in Ollie's office. <laughs> <laughs> They're closely related to each other. They are in fact just one tent. <laughs> so we're having today something really nice. It's peas and lentils and soya protein mix with some tomato sauce and some really nice herbs like curry and of course salt and I put a little bit of butter inside as well. And in the office well, we've got some charging going on. We've got our DSLR battery, GoPro battery. I'm uploading shots to the computer. It's all go time in the Lavi and Ollie camp this evening. <laughs> go, 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 go! <laughs> and Bumblebee can relax. <laughs>